Flame your idol. Today we are talking about the characters in your movie that you see in your reality that embody the characteristics that you admire and would like to embody yourself. It's actually really simple. That's what we're talking about today. Stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and I am a qualified life coach specializing in law of assumption. So if you would like support stepping into the starring role of your life movie, you are the star anyway. But if you've forgotten that and you'd like help reminding that you are the star of your show, then I am available for one-to-one -one law of assumption coaching where we will look at the stories that you're telling and then we'll change them to whatever we need to change them so that you can experience the reality that you want to experience because that's why we're here. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. You'll find all of those details in the box below this video or on my website, youaretheone.com.au. But for now, let's get into it. Well, it is very hot here in northern New South Wales. The humidity is out of control. And I am just remembering as I'm saying this that I am the weather and I can choose to change the humidity, which of course I have forgotten for the last number of days while I have sweated up a storm. Uh, but as I'm remembering this, I am going to be changing the humidity. So this is the game of awakening. We forget, then we remember, then we forget, then we remember. And what we are working towards doing is just remembering who we are all of the time so that we can create more of what it is that we want and less of what we don't want. Because if you don't know who you are, then you are going to be creating a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and a whole lot of that, and a little bit more of that, and maybe hopefully a little bit more of that because you are causing and creating a reality whether you know it or not based on the assumptions that you're holding in consciousness and a lot of those assumptions are in your subconscious so you don't even know you're holding them they were inherited by your caregivers and the generation before them and them and them and they just get passed down the line and then we just keep playing out the same old shit until we wake up to who we are which is consciousness in human form having a human experience as consciousness and manifesting our truest desires into physical form so that we can experience them with our five senses. So that's the game. That's why we're here. So let's start to use our power, our creative power a lot more wisely, which I know you're doing. Uh, and this is really just about reminding because as you just saw in the beginning of this video, I have forgotten who I was in relation to the weather. I thought the humidity was happening to me. And it's not until I was just saying what I was saying that I remembered, oh my gosh, of course, I can change the humidity by claiming it as I am. I am the weather or I am the temperature and I am cool and calm and easy. But today we are talking about the characters in your reality and these are the characters you admire, but also who you see outside of yourself. Because we talk a lot about owning the qualities of our characters that we don't necessarily like in order to transform or dissolve them from our movie, because you can do either, it's up to you. You are the casting director of your reality. So you get to choose the characters who show up. However, if you are in resistance to a quality or a characteristic, you will have a character show up in your movie to reflect that back. But that also goes the same for the positive characteristics. Those are the characteristics that we love, that we like, that we admire, that we respect, that we would love to be ourselves, that we don't identify with ourselves, but we see outside of us in our characters and we say, oh wow, isn't, aren't they amazing? Isn't that incredible? Aren't they incredible? I wish I was them, I'd love to be them, blah, blah. The whole celebrity culture is founded on the projection of the qualities in ourselves that we haven't accepted. The whole celebrity culture is all based on that. That's why so many people are obsessed with becoming famous because they think fame is going to give them the qualities that they see in the ones who are already famous. They think fame is going to make them feel a certain way. Jim Carrey, I know, he said it um, a number of times where he says, I wish everyone could experience the experience of being famous so that they could realize it's not the answer. Nothing in your reality can show up that doesn't first exist in consciousness. So if you are seeing a characteristic or a quality in somebody else that you admire, that you see as something outside of yourself and separate to, that's because that characteristic or that quality exists within you and that character is there to help remind you of who you are, which is the infinite I am. The only thing that is true about you is that you are the infinite I am. Everything else is a condition of the I am and you have 
free will to choose however you condition your I amness. And what a lot of us do is we project a lot of our amazing qualities onto these people outside of us, whether they're celebrities or leaders or just people doing amazing things. We project those qualities onto them and we go, wow, aren't they amazing? I wish I could do that. I could never do that. They're so incredible. And then we start to feel a little bit of jealousy or envy. We don't have to feel those things, but we can. And what that is saying is, all that is saying is that that characteristic exists within you. And all you have to do is just own it and embody it and become it so that your reality reflects it back. Remember, reality is just reflecting back the story you're telling about yourself. So if you're telling yourself the story that, oh, wow, they're amazing, they have that quality, I don't, I wish I did, guess what? You're going to have the experience that that person outside of you has the quality and you don't. Of course you do, but you don't know that. Just pick one person that you admire and pick a celebrity or pick a famous person or pick a leader. Pick somebody outside of you that you really admire. Chances are there'll be a person that flashes across your imagination right now as I'm saying that. Just go with that person. Trust your intuition. Even if it doesn't make sense, just go with that person. I'm actually thinking of a person who I am surprised to be thinking of because it's not somebody that I'm consciously going, oh my God, they're amazing. But I know that I did see them and I went, wow, they are amazing. So just pick somebody that you admire and then just write out the list of qualities that you admire in them. They're amazing, they're confident, they're so intelligent, they're smart, they're well-spoken, they're wealthy, they're successful. Like write out a list of how you see that person. What do you see in that person? What qualities do you see in that person? Those qualities have to exist in you, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see them because anything in your reality must first exist in consciousness. So if you're seeing qualities in somebody else that are amazing, those amazing qualities have to exist within you. And all you're doing is placing the I am in front of those qualities. And rather than going, they are amazing, they're so intelligent, they're so successful, they're so wealthy. Once you've done that, then you go, I am amazing. I am so intelligent. I am well-spoken. I am wealthy. I'm intelligent. I'm successful. Whatever the story is you have about them and claim them as I am. And then every time you see that person, use them as a reminder to remember who you are. And these are the qualities that exist within you. Remember, you're the infinite I am. All qualities, all possibilities exist within you, both the light and the dark. So one of the things that I always do, if I see somebody that I admire or that I respect, I enjoy that feeling of admiration and respect for them. But I also remember that in order for me to see those qualities in, the, in them, they have to exist within me. So I just remind myself as well that I am all the things that I'm seeing in them. Otherwise, I'm going to put them on the pedestal and then I'm going to kind of see myself as below them or less than or whatever. And that's not the game that I'm playing these days. Whatever I see in anybody, I'm seeing in myself as well. And that is both positive and negative, favorable and unfavorable. I am owning the whole game because when you own all possibilities, then you get to choose which qualities you want to possess and embody. You cannot choose from a place of resistance. If you're resisting a character, that character is going to be showing up to help you remember that you are those qualities as well. But you are also these amazing qualities that you see in all these amazing people that you look up to and admire. Whatever you see in them, has to exist within you and that person can only be in your reality to remind you that these qualities exist within you. You called them in. You're the casting director of your reality. These characters can only show up if there is a call from you first. And what we are doing is we're calling in the characters to remind us of all the characteristics that exist within us. And then when you've owned everything, you get to choose the characters that you want to have in your reality more of the time. And you'll find yourself hanging out with people that you really respect and admire and who lift and light you up because you've come from a place of conscious choice. And also, you're not going to be pedestalizing these people because you're going to be seeing these people as equal. Like you could walk into any room of any kind of people and know that there is no one in the room who is above you in any way regardless of their position because you know you are your own authority. There is no one above you, but there is also no one below you. You are the infinite I am of your reality and everyone in your reality is a character reflecting back the characteristics within you, both the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the favorable and the unfavorable. You're the infinite I am. Everything exists within you. Hope that helps. Have fun with it. Play with it. Claim your idols. Do not pedestalize anybody. 
No one is the star of your show but you. You are the infinite I am of your reality. So claim it, own it, embody it, choose it, and then enjoy it. Please remember you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too. And you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your beautiful comments. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.